Hello guys, today in this video we're gonna install Java JDK, Maven and Eclipse to our Windows 10 machine. So let's start with Java JDK. In order to start the downloading Java JDK, uh, first go to Google uh, and then type Java JDK uh, download. Uh, in the first link, Java LC downloads Oracle Technology Network, uh, www.oracle.com. From this uh, website, we're going to download Java JDK. Click on that link. Uh, Java LC download, downloads and click on download button here. Scroll down and here you will see the Java uh, download versions for the different type of platforms so since we are uh, we want to install Java to Windows 10 machine uh, we're gonna choose this one Windows uh, which is 64 bit and .exe file so click on this one uh, okay here's the one trick you have to first accept the license agreement I forget it so and then you have to click on that link now as you can see it started to download the file from the oracle corporation's website uh, so wait a couple of minutes and it will finish downloading now as you can see it finished downloading and then uh, click on that file uh, it is launching so Welcome to installation wizard for Java LC development kit. Uh, this wizard will guide you through the installation process of the Java LC development kit. So click on next. Uh, then you will see the default installation path and please leave, leave it as it is. Click on next. Now as you can see it is installing uh, Java JDK to our Windows 10 machine. Uh, wait a couple of minutes or maybe the seconds and it will finish it. It says Java SE development kit successfully installed. So Java has installed to our Windows machine. Then close. Uh, now let's uh, set up our environment path variables. So this is a short way. In the search bar, type path. Whenever you type path, you will see edit the system environment variables. This is the short way uh, and this is the best way right now on the market. So click on that you will see environment variables button click on that button and first in systems variable uh, we have the variable name called path and uh, click on edit uh, and uh, go to C go to program files go to Java uh, JDK and bin folder and copy right click copy copy this uh, path we need it here then uh, come back to the edit environment variable window uh, and create new uh, right click past click ok click ok click ok uh, let's check the java installation status so in search bar type cmd command prompt and type java space hyphen version yes woohoo java version 1202 1907-16 so we have successfully installed java so guys we are good with java jdk then next step now we're gonna install maven to our windows 10 machine uh, i'm closing this command prompt and i'm gonna go back to uh, google.com and in google.com i'm gonna write maven apache org enter uh, this one is the official website maven.apache.org click on that and from click downloads 
and here uh, we have to download from binary zip archive click on this uh, link see now it is downloading uh, the archive file and we will be installing this file so go to your downloads uh, this is the zip file I have to uh, extract the files so you can use whatever uh, uh, software you want to extract the files WinZip or seven, uh, zip7 uh, but I'm gonna use my own it's a uh, Windows default uh, software so just click extract all and it can extract click on extract you see the process it is extracting those files Apache Maven now you have to wait some time uh, and gonna complete uh, extracting Woohoo! now we are good so as you can see here uh, Apache Maven version 361 bin so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get this uh, folder as you can see whenever I click it is again the folder name so I'm gonna copy this one right click copy and go to your C uh, on the program files I'm gonna pass it here uh, past continue it is copying and passing uh, the file so click on that and click on this icon right click copy and from the search bar I'm gonna set the environment path variables again type path and it will show you edit the system environment variables click on that click on that environment variables and first we're gonna add uh, maven home here user variable for Elma my username click new uh, first thing is maven maven home and for the variable name right click past give the location of your apache maven folder and ok again new uh, variable name m2 home variable value right click again the same uh, folder path for the maven click OK why we created those two uh, variables under my username because some softwares they use m2 home some software they use maven home it's the good to create both of them so in the in the system variable uh, we have the variable called path and click edit we're gonna edit one more path here uh, click on new and right click past please be careful here Sla forward slash type bin it's gonna look for the bin folder and ok ok click ok now uh, open command prompt type on search bar cmd click enter it will open command prompt and here let's check the maven's installation status mvn this is the command for the maven space hyphen version click press enter and wait it so Apache Maven version 3.6.1 have successfully installed on a Windows 10 machine as you can see here all those uh, paths for the Maven home Java version so also you can type Java space Java space uh, hyphen version enter we have also Java installed in our Windows 10 machine so let's go to the next step uh, close this command prompt and now we will install Eclipse to our Windows 10 machine so open the Chrome again and type 
Eclipse, download the search bar and from the Eclipse official website www.eclipse.org downloads click on that first link scroll down and you will see this icon get Eclipse ID 2019-06 version click on download 64-bit so if your Windows is not 64-bit if it's 32 for example this Eclipse doesn't work for for your Windows so please make sure that you have the Windows 64-bit click on that Eclipse download button and click again downloads button as you can see it is down downloading Eclipse to my Windows 10 machine uh, wait a couple of minutes and it will finish downloading right now it finished downloading so click on that file to start uh, the installation process so guys uh, the installation in Eclipse installer has launched and you will see several options from here Eclipse ID for Java developers, Eclipse ID for enterprise Java developers, Eclipse ID for C, C++ developers so we have several options here as you can see uh, since our, we are installing the Eclipse for our Java uh, we're gonna select the first option Eclipse ID for Java developers click on that first option uh, installation folder so it's gonna install under C users Elmo Eclipse Java and it's gonna create the start menu entry and it will create desktop shortcuts please make sure you have selected the, both those options and click on and here it uh, it's the path for the Java JDK and click on install button now it is installing uh, click on accept now the agreement and wait a couple of minutes and click accept button again the process of installation is going on uh, be patient it should it shouldn't take so long so guys uh, again the windows pop, popped up and select all those and accept selected it is uh, still on the process of installing eclipse it finished installing so you can press on uh, launch button Eclipse is launching param param so guys it is asking for workspace location and it's giving default C users Elmo Eclipse workspace and oh, I'm gonna leave it as it is the default location and launch So uh, I'm gonna maximize the window Eclipse and this is the welcome page and if you want you can explore and uh, read all the material but right now I, I will not do it I will close the welcome page and here uh, I'm gonna create our first project with Eclipse so go to file under new click project and I'm gonna have here uh, so from here I'm gonna select general uh, project and next I'm gonna give the project name uh, which is my pro my project X let me say and finish woohoo I've created my first project under my first project I'm gonna create I'm gonna create right click new package I'm gonna give package name uh, let's give the package name hello uh, no guys uh, this is, doesn't work uh, let me delete this project uh, delete this project uh, I'm gonna create Java project 
file new java project and give the name my project x and finish it is creating java project and the module name let's give the same my project x create and under src folder i'm going to create new uh, package which going to be uh, my first package and click on finish and new under my package i'm going to create new uh, class let's say hello world and select public static void main and finish then uh, we're gonna we can delete this one and uh, let's here uh, write system system dot out dot print ln uh, and then we're gonna specify the text here uh, hello world hello world this is my first project x and click on uh, right click run as java application and ok now we are running our first java application as you can see it's printed out hello world this is my first project x thank you guys for watching my video if you like my video please uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my video and i will be posting again uh, coding videos related to java uh, please tune up thank you very much for your attention